Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. In that whole skincare section we were discussing, we mm. didn't touch upon retinol, which has become very, very popular. I have heard it's for fine lines, wrinkles, and it's kind of one of the most common anti-aging things now. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a lot of. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Do girls have skin that ages faster, faster. than male skin? Mm. Is, does that happen? Mm. It happens. Mm. Why does it happen? One. Mm. And two, I'm asking you this because all my female friends who are my age uh, are all using retinol. And mm. they're talking about how it's actually have the acne also and all that. I don't yes. know how much truth there is yes. in that. It has? Yes. It, yeah. Yeah. What? How does retinol work? Should people be using it? Etc. Cetera, et cetera. You can expand this huh. thought as much as you like. So... Break down first, what is retinol? Retinol is one of the precursors or some sidestep to retinol, vitamin A, simply put. Now, this retinol is not a new ingredient. It is one of the oldest ingredient with maximum studies as an anti-aging one because it increases your cell turnover and changes the DNA of your basal cell in a way that it produces good cells, repaired cells and increases the cell turnover. So it, it keeps bringing in fresh cells. So the skin looks nice and fresh. Now, is it anti-aging? Yes, because it's increasing the cell turnover and taking out the dead cell from top. So it kind of makes the skin look more youthful over a period of time. Should everyone use retinol? No, I have never put retinol on my face. I cannot handle retinol. Like it my skin is super thin. If I use retinol, it will only... That turnover is not going to help me firstly unless you really have like a thick skin to help the turnover. Two, I don't have a lot of clogged skin. I am exfoliating it regularly. Three, my skin is dry and sensitive. Putting retinol will only irritate my skin. There is no, not even easing my skin into it. I've tried even that. It doesn't work. So not all ingredients work for everyone. For me, a peptide is better for anti-aging, which are the proteins. What are we trying to build? More proteins and help the outer dead cell get better, right? So I'm inducing peptide as it. So I'm still continuing to work with retinol. Let me not digress. So retinol is not for everyone. Retinol works best for thicker skin type, acne prone skin, oily skin type works brilliantly well. Whereas a very thin skin, transparent skin, dry skin, I wouldn't really jump and use retinol on them. There are a lot more other anti-aging also available for them, which is easy to use, easy on the skin as well. So that is that. And there is no downtime. There is no irritation. The next morning, you're not wondering now, how do I cover this up? So therefore, they are not the retinol. They are the retinol types. They are not the retinol types. Now, the last question, does retinol also work on acne? Yes, it does. So how does it work? Same thing. What is your isotroin? It is one form of retinol itself. It's tretinoin. It's one form of retinol. It's an oral retinol. So that is something which is retinoid, we call it. Anyway, it's all similar cousins. Let's say they're all cousins. Same effect on the skin. Ha, same cousins. So... On an acne also, it reduces the oil glands. It increases turnover. So the clogging reduces. Oiliness reduces. Skin kind of becomes much more nicer. The scar reduces because the turnover is increasing. But honestly, scar doesn't reduce. It's, it's it'll, You'll have to apply a strong retinol for over 2-3 years for scar to reduce. There are better things to do now. You don't have to do that. So that's how it also helps acne. Okay. Is it a daily use product and can you use it for the rest of your life or should you, you only can. be... You can. If, like I said, if you if you are the retinol kind, which I explained initially, if it feels happy on your skin, you can use it daily, use it rest of your life, no problem. But please understand, it is it is doing increased cell turnover and it is also slowing the top skin, like exfoliating it. So you need a strict sun protection the next morning. If it's somebody like you who says, I am lazy, I don't want to put sunscreen, please don't use retinol also. This is what I was trying to ask. Huh. Then what is the downside no. to this? So don't use retinol also. Either you do something in total or you don't do anything because doing half will harm you and not help you. Okay, gotcha. Uh, do you want to give some precautions about hyaluronic acid as well? Hyaluronic acid, again, if you are the hyaluronic acid type, if you have a normal skin, calm skin, not an irritated skin, oily skin and just need that moisture, that hydration for your skin, your hyaluronic acid is your best friend. If you have a dry skin, sensitive skin, red skin, easily irritable skin, hyaluronic acid is not for you. Okay, gotcha. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. 
Dianis Clips.